everyone i'm josh this is alex we are the target audience content is made for everybody but we think it's specifically made for us and hopefully for you as well today we are going to be reacting to the new trailer for the death on the nile the sequel to murder on the orient express which came out i think four years ago at this point i think it was like december yeah, November, December 2017. Damn. Yeah, I've never seen it with you. Yeah. So Alex and I Time actually flies. actually watched that in the theater together. I don't think either of us had ever seen any previous iterations of that movie as far as like originals or anything like that or read the book, obviously. Um, so that was the first time we had ever seen this story, and I really enjoyed it. I bought it on Blu-ray. Did you enjoy it? Oh, I, I fucking loved it. Uh, this is one of those movies where I just went to go see it based off a trailer, mm -hmm. which is great trailer you know the way you yeah which is like the way it used to be <laughs> before like connected universes and you know just like i didn't see it for any of the actors really it's like i saw the trailer and i'm like i, I love a good mystery like good mm -hmm. mysteries are like so hard to come by and it's like and then the movie came along i'm like that was everything i i could ever ask for plus more and uh i love that in fact me and josh i'm like hey josh let's take a picture in front of the poster <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah that's right yeah <laughs> just to say hey this was a, this was a good movie so and i liked it as a one-off you know but i'm glad there's a second one and apparently this uh, death on the nile is another book i'm guessing or maybe even another movie being in the 50s 60s whatever yeah i don't know a ton about it but i i do know i mean this character that's in it this detective is like a famous you know from novels and stuff um so I, this is a, also a well-known story again that i'm unfamiliar to so i don't know the, the plot i don't know what happens anything like that and i remember the first trailer for this coming out i think right before the pandemic um and then obviously delays delays so this is actually supposed to come out quite a while ago it'll be interesting to see the cast in this probably a lot of people that you know we kind of have forgotten about so yeah i didn't even remember if there was a first trailer wow um yeah uh the detective guy there's a lot of like uh, exposition and him like talking about his wife so maybe they'll go more into personal detail that's why i thought like oh if there is a sequel i hope they go into that a little bit more but we'll see we'll see all right ladies and gentlemen Please welcome the newlyweds, Mr. and Mrs. Simon Doyle. You must meet Hercule Poirot. My congratulations, madame. Merci. He's only the greatest detective alive. I suspect you invited me Until he wasn't. Other than the fun. <laughs> <laughs> he gets killed. We have to come to ourselves a chef and enough champagne. Oh, they're using the pesh mode. Fuck yeah. It's too late to change events. It's time to face the consequence. Oh, hey. The actor that plays Curry. Someone is dead. Oh, yeah. Let's eat a right, I believe. The crime is murder. Never again is what the murder. That's usually what happens when someone's, uh... <laughs> Were you aware of any oh, grudges? Is that Emma Stone? Never again is what she I don't feel safe here. I don't feel safe with any of them. Oh, no, it's her. I, I always mix those up. She was in Game of Thrones. Did you see or hear anything? I did not trust her. I still don't. What did you do last night? You accused me of murder. He accuses everyone of murder. It is a problem, I admit. <laughs> that murder was methodically planned. Find who did this. You are mad. Can I not trust you? What do you want me to say? Someone else is dead. You lie in my face! Lock the door! The murderer is here. And will stay here. There's everybody. All right, February 11th. February 11th, huh? Um, yeah, so a, a few people in that, that I'm a big fan of. First of all, Army Hammer has had his uh, controversies in the last couple of years, so he's kind of fallen off the face of the earth. But I've always been a fan of his acting, so it'll be cool to see him in this. Gal Gadot, I don't, Alex, did you happen to watch uh, Red Notice on Netflix? Uh, I kind of, no, I didn't. <laughs> what were you going to say? You kind of did. Uh, <laughs> uh, you know, 
you know how I am. I just saw all the hype. I'm like, ugh. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I, I did watch it. And uh, for I'm not going to get into reviewing Red Notice, but I'll just say that Gal Gadot, Gal Gadot plays the villain in that. And it was something I'd never seen from her before. And I get kind of similar vibes in this trailer from her. I don't know if she's the villain of the movie, but um, maybe I just have that in my mind. So that's what I'm thinking of. But excited to see her. And then obviously Russell Brand, I'm also a big fan of. And I haven't seen him in a movie in quite a while. Yeah, I don't think I've ever seen him in anything serious either. Uh, yeah. yeah. You know, I really liked Ar- Army Hammer in uh, Sorry to Bother You. Like, he was just like, mm, nuts yes. in that movie. But, yeah, with all the, you know, recent stuff about him, it's like, uh, oh, I forgot he was in this. I'm like, oh, my God. <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't know if that'll affect ticket sales or I don't know. I'm not, Look, let's whatever. be honest. No one's going to see this movie. I mean, it's <laughs> it's a, I'm, just to be realistic. I mean, no one's going to see this uh, because, look, if you're not Marvel, no one's going to see your movie. That's just the unfortunate reality. I mean, we had like five like big movies bomb in a row leading up to Spider-Man No Way Home having the, the second biggest opening of all time besides Endgame. So it's like it's not that people don't want to go to the theaters. They're just extremely picky about what they want to see. I would be surprised if this doesn't quickly end up on Disney Plus um, or, you know, as a home rental. Yeah, I thought the trailer was great music. Uh, Love Depeche Mode. Um, very first mo- – the trailer reminds me exactly of the trailer as the first one. And I'm wondering <laughs> – they do the same exact ending as the first movie. <laughs> it's how uh, all they, the stories end. <laughs> uh, they didn't even show who died, did they? Uh, no. Because – I remember like Johnny Depp was the one who died in the first one. And mm-hmm. I remember watching the movie. I'm like, Johnny Depp's in this? So <laughs> yeah. I w- so I wonder if they're gonna do another, you know, like random so that like Jeff Goldblum's gonna be, you know, killed. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I don't think it's gonna be any of the main people we saw in that trailer. It'll probably be someone similar. M- might not even be like a big name like Johnny Depp. It might just be a dude or something. But um, I loved how the trailer. First of all, I agree with you. Love the music, but also the way the, similar to the first movie sets up. There's a murder. This guy's going to find out who did it. Here's some cool little acting moments, and that's it. Like, we really know nothing about the story, and I'm excited for that. I'm excited to go in blind to another mystery. Yeah, I love mysteries. Now, let's scroll through the comments to see if anyone's saying anything <laughs> about, uh... <laughs> about what happens. <laughs> yeah, or about you know, any controversies with the cast, so, you know, catch up oh, on yeah. all that fun. Yeah, so far, nothing. But, okay, yeah, looks fun. I'll see it in theaters by myself in February in the cold. <laughs> by yourself. With, with, with two other people that, yeah. Yeah, an old couple. Yeah. So, uh, but hey, I'm excited. And if another trailer comes out, well, I'm sure we'll react to it. So, um, that'll be it for us today. Um, but in addition to reacting to this, we will also be reacting to The Book of Boba Fett, Wednesday, December 29th. The Peacemaker series coming out on a day in January that I don't know. Uh, we're continuing our watch of Star Wars or Clone Wars. And also, if anything else comes out, we'll watch it. We'll react to it if we want to. So, so that's right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and we, we also react to uh, movie trailers like this and review movies as well. So make sure to subscribe to the target audience so you don't miss any of those videos. Absolutely. That'll be it. I'm Alex. This is Josh. We are the target audience. Hey, listen, content is made for absolutely everybody, but we think it's especially made for us and hopefully for you as well. Thanks for joining us on this ride on uh, Death on the Nile, and we'll hope to see you on the next boat for the next (laughs) (laughs) ride. Thanks for watching, everybody.